this one is this one is what we're gonna get. Shape. Literally. Alright, right there, buddy. You come over here, man. 
Yes! <laughs> Excellent! Arise, Decepticon! <laughs> Tell me, were you successful in destroying any Autobots? Which ones? <laughs> Bumblebee. You destroyed Bumblebee. <laughs> So if Bumblebee truly is destroyed, that means that I will never hear Bumblebee play one of those incessant songs. I will never see his stupid face ever again. Because if I did see his stupid face again, you know what would happen? I would know that you were lying. And that would not end very well for you, Decepticon. First, I would take that little nub from your head, and then I would take your actual head. So tell me, is Bumblebee truly dead? <laughs> Very well then, let us celebrate! Raise your fist up high, Decepticon! Bumblebee is no more! But if I find out you are lying... <laughs> I'm going to disassemble you into five separate parts. <laughs> I will let you choose which parts they are. Now, get out. Thank you. Oh man, I just spoke to the <laughs> Megatron. I can't even speak. That was so awesome. <laughs> Four humans per row. Transform and roll out. Good afternoon, Freedom Fighters. I am Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobots. It is an honor to see you all here. I recognize many of your faces from having joined us in battle already, and I thank each of you for your courage in helping us defeat Megatron. However, he remains at large, and he must be brought down this day. We need your help, humans, to join us in battle. I hope all of you here are with us. something truly amazing and truly dangerous. Folks, my name's Shannon, I'm one of the dinosaur handlers here in the park, and in just a few moments we're going to be bringing out one of our special live attractions, a Velociraptor. Now this is not an animatronic or a special effect, this is a living, breathing animal. And if you are brave enough, yes Canada, I am talking to you. And you. Yeah. If you are brave enough, you're going to have the opportunity to take a photo with that animal. We have a photo queue set up right over here to my right. Rule number one, please do not try to touch the Velociraptor. Any sort of movement made towards her, she might read that as aggression. This also goes for excessive eye contact or the bearing of teeth. Like this lady right here. Ma'am, what is your name? Mavis, where are you from? From the Philippines. Are you having fun today? A smile means throw down. So for the safety of these ladies, if you do not smile at the dinosaur, all right? Rule number two, please do not try to feed the dinosaur. She, okay, she's coming out a little bit early. Folks, hang tight. Here we go, here we go. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ is a Ladies and Good to the forward. Keep it moving. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Zulu, one of our four-year-old Velociraptors. 
Good to the floor. Mavis, what do we say about smiling, Mavis? Drop the smile, Mavis! <laughs> settle, settle. Now, folks, she can run up to 60 miles an hour. If she charges, back. And you run. Make sure the person next to you is slower. Back. <laughs> Good, Julie. Good. And hold. Eyes on me. And speak. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how about a hand for Zulu? We'll have this move right up here. Anyway, yes, you will be turned into minions. 
Months ago, my chief scientist, Dr. Navarro, created a device that could turn everyday boring civilians like you into minions. At first, there were a few minor snags, and a few major snags. Although I kind of like that guy, and that guy. Oh, I love that guy. That guy really knows how to party. Don't worry, we have finally worked out all of the kinks, as far as you know. And now, you too can become a minion. Wow, look at that! I know, right? It's pretty spectacular. This one. your training, we need to do a routine body scan. Can't have you bringing any human germs into the lab. It's nothing serious. Just some high density lasers. They're very, very powerful. It will not hurt me a bit. Uh oh, we have a problem. Not naming names, but it's those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm in a bit of a time crunch and I'm feeling generous. But you better shower when you get back to your hotel. And don't go right to the pool. As for the rest of you, if anyone's thinking of backing out, I warn you, I will hit you with my fart gun. Oh yes, I mean, uh, not, not now. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be scared, girl. It's just a big, bald teddy bear. Yeah. <laughs> And no way will I shoot you with a fart gun. Oh, no. Hey, it smells like banana. Banana? Banana. Oh, come on. Uh, Gru, I was wondering if I could give you something. Oh, sure, sweetie, but can it wait? I'm, I'm really behind schedule. And I'm, I have to train these guys. Oh, can we help? What? Yeah, we can train them. I do not think so. No, no, it's very practical. Come on! Morals are going to handle your training. Yeah. You people are so doomed. Oh, don't listen to her. Although, she's usually right. Good luck, everyone! But, but, girl, wait! He's gone, Agnes. It's the anniversary of the day he adopted us. Do you think he forgot? Of course not. It'll be okay, Agnes. Come on, we have a job to do. I wish I had a clip of what you doing that last night. That's it. We're done our Universal Studio adventure and we're officially out. So we bought a lot of stuff today, especially. No, we're gonna do a haul. Okay, we're gonna do a haul later. So yeah, we'll see you guys next time.